getting ready to kick off the end of the regular season from Daytona. Great push from Joe Logano to get Kevin Harvick out to the lead. That outside line starting to organize those. Logano jumps trying to get up there to block it, but can't. A little bit too late there. Big run. Keselowski, Truex down the back straight away and going into the lead. Now, now Joe Logano in that 22 car. Now he is to the rear bumper. Kevin Harvick going to push that bottom line. It's going to move Kevin Harvick with forward momentum off of turn four. Truex to the bottom of the block. And that blue car of McDowell now running up at the top five. Remember, all the Fords have Roush Yates uh, horsepower. So um, uh, Doug Yates making that horsepower for all the Fords. He can run up with the best of them. You saw William Byron. He went to the bottom of the racetrack. Now he's leading that bottom lane. And when he did that, when he made that move, the two guys behind him also made that move. So now you have more cars in the bottom. That will create more energy. Inside line coming to life once again. William Byron in front of him. And they do have a lot of run here. A lot of momentum into the front here. William Byron's going to take the lead. Reddick, big run. Here comes the 48. Jimmy Johnson, how aggressive will he be? Byron also moving. The double yellow line is out of bounds. They can't go below that and make a pass. Three wide here with Blaney. That's going to slow that lane down. It's going to be hard to help from behind right now. Reddick went up to side draft, trying to side draft Logano for the win of stage one. Logano on that high line holds him off. He'll win stage one at Daytona. Man, that was like a race to the checkered flag right there. <laughs> guys making some pretty risky moves. It tells you how important it is for these guys to get these points. So with Quentin Bloyer locking in his spot, now two spots remain, only two. And again, if you win, you advance. The field approaching the Geico restart zone. Stage two underway. Christopher Bell in the 95. It's been announced he will go to Joe Gibbs Racing next year. Levine Family Racing right now, the owner of the 95 number and that team, but they are selling. This mess right here, though, you see it. The 22 of Joey Logano is starting to push the issue. He gets to the outside of the 21. I think they can feel the heat coming of those lined up Chevrolets who have been gaining between one and one and a half seconds. My math has them catching this pack with one or two to go. And you see the two and three wide at the back of the pack. There's going to be a lot going on. And I also don't think that we have are yet to see all the cars that have to pit. We're hearing the 18 of Kyle Busch might be coming as well at some point. Look at Matt DiBenedetto in that bright yellow car. Remember, he needs points. And all that, that outside lane lined up on him, and they all went by him. Logano blocks again. Joey Logano out front. He won stage one, looking to win stage two. Boyer, Martin Trex Jr., fighting behind him for position. Coming through the trial again. Logano does it again. He'll win stage two. Jimmy Johnson. Hey, Martin, nice. Pitting too soon. Uh, Ross Chastain in the 77 and the 11 of Denny Hamlin. Penalties for those two. The field approaching the Geico restart zone. Logano. Martin Trex Jr. up front. Final stage underway. This is Eric Jones. Great run, run here. Yep, huge run right here. What does Eric Jones do? He helps his teammate. Tyler Reddick out front. Now Tyler's going to try to block. He's in the fence. Up into the wall he goes. The 18 also in the wall. Eric Jones gets caught up in it as well. The big one does happen. The 47, Ricky Stenhouse Jr., McDowell. Austin Dillon caught up in this. That's Ryan Newman in the six. Kurt Busch in the one. An opportunity to win and get into the playoffs. He needs to forget about what just happened. Start focusing on the next move he's going to be making. Yeah, it's just it was over aggressive for sure. 
just couldn't make this block right here. Tried to do it. A little bit of a little bit of damage, but not bad for him. You see everything that happened behind him, but you said it, Junior. Tyler Reddick, he's running second. And who finishes in front of the other of those three that are fighting on the bubble? Up through the gears they go. Green flag back in the air. Sounded like Denny Hamlin spun the tires just a little bit, but man, again, he has the best help in the field behind him on these restarts. The 22, Logano. Logano stuck to the back of that number 11 Toyota. Great run from this inside, though. Tyler Reddick leading that inside line in the eight. Chris now Busher. he's going to get a little push from Chris Busher. The nine out of shape. Here comes the 22. Logano's going to take the lead away from Denny Hamlin. Two laps to go. Bubba Wallace, Wallace on the outside. Big run. Contact, Contact made again. Bubba Wallace sideways. Can he save it? William the Byron. They're in right the now. The 22 goes around. Hold the break. He's going to come out now. Big, break, big wreck time. behind him. Bubba Wallace got through Tyler Reddick hard hit. Jimmy Johnson, Johnson caught up in, in the 48. Yeah, big damage on Jimmy's car. Could this be it for the seven-time champion? Not Brand making the playoffs in his final year. Watch William Byron. So there's big contact right there with Bubba Wallace. Then Bubba, William Byron through the middle. Even more contact with William Byron. I think that's where maybe the 22 car lost the, left, the right rear tire. Either that or just got turned around. Denny Hamlin, William Byron making up row one. Denny Hamlin's best friend right now is Matt Benedetto. I think with the position Matt's in, he'd be happy to push that 11 car to the win, but that inside line is organized, and they're going by Denny on the inside. Clint Boyer pushing that 24 Byron to the lead. The next flag will end the race. Martrex Jr. out front. Now William Byron fighting on the inside for the lead and the win. They run behind them again. Stay with your teammate. They continue to fight. You're clear. Through three and four. William Byron looking for his first ever win in the NASCAR Cup Series. A win, a secured spot in the playoffs. William Byron's going to win. Clint Boyer hit the wall off turn two. This is down the back straightaway. Corey LaJoy gets turned around. Hard in the wall. Oh, there's Amarola and Ty Dillon also making big contact. 